In this video, we are going to show you how to use your right side toolbar to follow earnings, news, and just to make better decisions. So you see our mouse here? This is how you get started. Just click any of these icons and we'll jump right into it. So the first menu item is your watch list. And when you click that, your watch list appears. And from here, you can add stocks to your watch list or equities or Forex or crypto. You can add sections. For example, we wrote solar here as one section, big tech here as another section. You can also create multiple lists, make a copy of your list, rename it, import and export. And what's also really cool is you can add these flags, these color flags, so that you can sort all of the symbols based on specific criteria. So maybe red might mean something like, you know, this is a stock that I want to watch. Or this is a crypto I want to watch. And blue might mean this is an index that I want to watch. So you have all of these options available to you in your watch list. And as you can see, we have several lists created here. And by the way, this is the details menu. So when you open your watch list in details, you actually have two things to select from your watch list and details. And you can adjust these to fit your needs. So this details menu is actually showing us the chart in front of us. And watch this details menu change when, of course, we change the chart. So we just went to the SPY ETF and check it out. Now our details say SPY. If we go to Bitcoin, BTC USD, now our details show us stats about Bitcoin. And the same thing works for Forex as well. So that is the first menu item. It's this watch list and details button. Get started by simply clicking it. Next up is your alerts manager. This is so, so important. It's how you make markets work for you. That is the difference between a patient process trader with a plan and those who are just sort of, you know, going by the day-by-day the -day routine without much process. So when you create an alert, you can manage all of them here. You can also sort your alerts, search for specific alerts, pause alerts, look back at the alerts you've created. And what we're really doing here is we're just making markets work for us. So we get alerts sent to our phone, sent to our email when any type of price action or event happens. And then we manage them all from our, our alert manager. We'll make more videos on this soon, but the key here is just get started. Open up your alerts tab and just dive right in. You can create an alert just like this. We can choose how we want to be notified. We can create a custom message. This one says Epic Dip Buy, for example, and we can even customize the sound. We can send an SMS message, notifications on the app. It's all right here in the alert menu. And that is just so important and really to get started. When you have your chart open, head over to the alerts icon, click it and dive right in. The best way to get started with alerts is to start testing them yourself. It is as easy as this menu looks. We, we see all of the alerts that are active. We see all of the alerts that have been stopped or that have already triggered, right? They've already been sent and we can make quick adjustments. So this is alert is active in Apple. And of course, if we click it, we see what's going on, our drawings, and we can manage everything from here. By the way, everything you see on this chart is education and entertainment. We're just trying to demonstrate how you can use these tools to get better at following, understanding, and making decisions in markets. Okay, let's move on. Now, the next topic we're going to go to is something that uh, we're going to change the pace a little here. Because now we want to talk about news. And this is where the right side toolbar is really helpful. News. So for example, uh, let's actually go to Bitcoin for this example. There's been a lot of news lately about Bitcoin. And we'll zoom into the chart here just to see. And now on the right side toolbar, there is this icon. It looks like a newspaper and it's called news. And when we click this icon, we can see all of the latest news about Bitcoin. So this is interesting. Look at this big red candle here. That happened yesterday. Well, we could scroll back in time on our newsfeed, you know, go back several hours ago, 
and start to get a feel for you know what happened was there something in the news that that caused this and as you can see we have some news here bitcoin dumps we also have some other news about bitcoin bitcoin extends slide and if we want to learn more about this news watch this we click and now we can read a quick blurb or an article right here and there is news sources for everyone in here and it makes it really easy to learn about markets and to see what's happening and why price is moving the way it is so one more time it's this button right here news so we click news and we are in and let's actually scroll back just to see if we can find a you know a really good example that might show us why Bitcoin dropped. Okay, see how cool this is? Five reasons behind massive Bitcoin drop to 30K. We can click it. This one will actually take us to uh, an article which we can read. And that is how you use the news icon. Okay, now that you understand news, let's also dive into news and earnings. So if you notice here, Intel reported earnings. This E here means they, that they reported. If we click this, we can see the earnings report, the quick details. What did they report? Did they beat? What was the date? And what was the period? Now here's what's really cool. We can use this in combination with news. So we click news, and now we see all of the news about Intel's earnings report. And if we scroll down, we can learn more about Intel's earnings report. For example, that's interesting. Intel probing reports of quarterly hack. And if we click, we can read this article about Intel earnings and a possible hack. And if we keep scrolling down, we can read more. Well, let's see. And uh, let's see if we can find an article. This is, here you go. Intel fourth quarter results outpace guidance while new CEO sees majority of 2023 products made internally. So how cool is that? You now know that Intel reported earnings. You see the price action here. You could zoom in say to a 30 minute chart to really see what's happening. These, this is pre and post market trading, post market here, pre market here. And then of course we can confirm all of this by using the news button. And we can read about Intel's earnings and other articles that are floating around in the investment landscape. So that is the news icon. So we've shown you how to use watch list and details, alerts, now news. And we want to make something really important. We're going to make videos that go into each of these tools in depth in the coming weeks and months. So please stay tuned. We're just going to continue going through these last few items here and we just want to make sure that people know how to use them and when they come to this channel they can find those tips okay next up is data window the data window is really helpful if you want to make sure that you're following key stats about the asset or symbol on your page and the data window is how you do that it is you know it's probably more so for those who are want to follow numbers really closely and those who want to be in, you know, they want to make sure that they see everything happening on their chart. So what's really cool about the data window, though, is if you noticed, we added a volume profile. And now the data window shows us that volume profile. And we can continue to add these types of indicators. So why don't we also add, let's also add maybe auto fib. And let's add a... Let's see here, let's go to public library. Let's just add a standard volume indicator. And why don't we just add one more? Uh, let's go to built-ins. We'll find an interesting one to really get the point across. How about Bollinger Bands? You know what? Let's do one more, actually. We will also do, let's do Ichimoku. Okay, let's actually delete these auto fib retracements. So now we've added all of these indicators and check out what the data window does for us. So let's close it. So here's our chart. We've added a lot, by the way. There is a lot going on on this chart. We have Ichimoku, volume, volume profile. And we can see some details about them here at the top left. But of course now you could use the data window to dive into each of these indicators and to really see the exact numbers. It is another way to view 
everything that's happening on your chart, and then you really can't miss a price level because it's right here in your data window. Okay, we're going to hide all of these indicators now as we move on to our next topic, which is hot lists. So where our mouse is here, this is called a hot list. And hot lists are really good for those who are looking for fast movers, big movers, and just, you know, constant activity. Or if you want to get a feel for what markets are doing. So as you can see, we have U.S. exchanges, volume gainers. So this list is going to show us stocks with the highest volume. We have percentage change gainers, so which stocks are up the most. And then there's just U.S. exchanges, percentage change losers. And you can adjust these menus to, you know, however you want to see them. So you see here we're just dragging them and we're adjusting their size to fit our needs. Additionally, in your hot lists, you have, you know, almost unlimited customizations here based on where you are in the world. USA, USA NASDAQ, and by exchange, that's really important. NASDAQ, USA NYSE, USA NYSE ARCA, Argentina, Australia, here's Canada, Chile, China, you, you get the idea. The whole world is at your fingertips with this hot list tool. You can scan for stocks anywhere in the world based on all of these preset scans. Volume gainers, percentage change gainers, and this is in India. Gap gainers, gap losers, really powerful stuff. And one more thing that we'll show you, by the way, is when you open up these hot lists, so right now we have this chart of Intel. If you click a symbol on the hot list, guess what? It will instantly adjust the chart. So you can see now you can really start to whip through charts for your research, your analysis, your setups. Moving on to the next really important tool here on this right side toolbar. And as you know, we've been going through each of these items is your calendar tool. Calendar tool is so important. Forex, crypto, even equities. The your USD, the calendar tool is essential. So you can watch the economic calendar here. See this economic calendar. And we can see all of the upcoming econ events. And additionally, we can see the prior econ events. What's also really, really powerful is we see the actual, so the econ number that was reported, the forecast, and of course, what was reported prior to that. So this is a full economic calendar right here at your fingertips. All it takes is one click and you can see what's coming, what happened, and what are the key events. And don't forget, you can also change this by where you are in the world. So if you see this globe icon, just click this, and here we are. The world of economic data is at our fingertips. Each of these countries is here. Just click them and you can make your own global economic calendar. Earnings calendar. Now this is in the same place as the economic calendar. This is your calendar menu here. So let's close this one more time. Here's calendar. We see the icon, we click. And now we can follow earnings and we also see their earnings per share estimates. Never miss another earnings report. It's as simple as just clicking your calendar icon, going to the earnings calendar, adjusting the size of the window to fit your needs. And then of course, when you're ready, when you think you found the earnings report that you want to chart, see we're just scrolling through the list. Let's say we want to chart in this instance, let's keep going, let's look for an interesting one. Uh, here's Verizon. Let's say we want to chart Verizon, we simply click the symbol and the chart instantly shows us and then of course we could go to a higher time frame. then we could zoom out and we could just continue to do this. Why don't we find one more interesting company? Here's General Electric. So now we know General Electric earnings are coming and of course on our chart we see the E right here as well. We know earnings are coming and it's right here in our calendar. So we really hope that this video is helping you understand this right side toolbar now, what's really important is each item we went over here, these are tools to help your trading, to help your process, to help your planning, and just so that you can make better decisions. And by the way, this is free to use. It's customizable. You can make these tools work for you. That's the most important thing. Everyone has their own unique style, and you can use these tools to fit your needs. For example, your watch list. Make a custom watch list that fits your needs, 
make multiple watch lists as you see here, add flags to specific symbols, and you can even create these cool subsections to break out each symbol by, you know, the section that you believe they belong in. And it's as easy as right clicking. You can see remove section, rename it, add a symbol to the section. That easy. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. We went through these key tools here, watch list and details, alerts, news, hot lists, or oh, this is data window. Here's our data window. Hot lists and calendar. In future videos, we, we will dive into more of these tools. Maybe we'll even show you some strategies for using them. Um, really dive into maybe an example or two. Additionally, here is our ideas tab. These are our public chats, private chats, ideas stream, live streams, notifications. This is the social component of TradingView. So these tools at the bottom are really where you can start to create a social presence, meet others, chat with others, share ideas, leave comments, things like that. And we'll make a separate video on the social tools of TradingView. But for now, in this video, our core focus is the tools on the right, how to build a watch list, how to create alerts, how to follow news, how to follow your data window so you know everything that's happening on your chart, hot lists for big movers globally, and then your calendar for earnings and econ events. And like we said, we'll go through each of these one by one later on in more detail. The key is we hope this video helped you get started. Thank you for watching.